Tornado Supplies Kit. You and your family can cope best by preparing for disaster before it strikes. One way to prepare is by assembling the disaster supplies kit. Once disaster hits, you won't have time to shop or search for supplies. But if you've gathered supplies in advance, your family can endure an evacuation or home confinement. Gather the supplies that are listed. You and your family may need them. Place the supplies you'd most likely need for an evacuation in an easy-to-carry container. These supplies are listed with an asterisk asterisk. Water store water in plastic containers such as soft drink bottles. Avoid using containers that will decompose or break, such as milk cartons or glass bottles. A normally active person needs to drink at least two quarts of water each day. Hot environments and intense physical activity can double that amount. Children, nursing mothers and ill people will need more. Store one gallon of water per person per day. Two quarts for drinking. Two quarts for food preparation slash sanitation asterisk keep at least a three-day supply of water for each person in your household. Food store at least a three-day supply of non-perishable food. Select foods that require no refrigeration, preparation or cooking and little or no water. If you must heat food, pack a can of sterno. Select food items that are compact and lightweight. Asterisk include the selection of the following foods in your disaster supplies kit. Ready-to-eat canned meats, fruits and vegetables canned juices, milk, soup if powdered, store extra water staples, sugar, salt, pepper high-energy foods, peanut butter, jelly, crackers, granola bars, trail mix vitamins foods for infants, elderly persons or persons. On special diets comfort slash stress foods, cookies, hard candy, sweetened cereals, lollipops, instant coffee. Tea bags first aid kit assemble a first aid kit for your home and one for each car. A first aid kit asterisk should include sterile adhesive bandages in assorted sizes 2 inch sterile gauze pads 4 to 6 4 inch sterile gauze pads 4 to 6 hypoallergenic adhesive tape triangular bandages 3 to inch sterile roller bandages 3 rolls 3 inch sterile roller bandages 3 rolls scissors tweezers needle moistened towelettes and a septic thermometer tongue blades 2. Tube of petroleum jelly or other lubricant assorted sizes of safety pins cleansing agent flash soap latex gloves to pair sunscreen non-prescription drugs aspirin or not aspirin pain reliever anti-diarrhea medication antacid for stomach upset syrup of ipecac use to induce vomiting if advised by the poison control center laxative activated charcoal use if advised by the poison control center contact your local American Red Cross chapter to obtain the basic first aid manual Tools and supplies There are six basics you should stock in your home. Water, food, first aid supplies, clothing and bedding, tools and emergency supplies and special items. Keep the items that you would most likely need during an evacuation in an easy-to-carry container. Suggested items are marked with an asterisk asterisk. Possible containers include a large, covered trash container, a camping backpack, or a duffel bag. Mess kits or paper cups, plates and plastic utensils asterisk emergency preparedness manual asterisk battery operated radio and extra batteries asterisk flashlight and extra batteries asterisk cash or traveler checks, change asterisk not electric can opener, utility knife asterisk fire extinguisher, small canister, baby seat type tube tent pliers tape compass matches in a waterproof container aluminum foil plastic, storage containers signal flare paper, pencil needles, Thread medicine dropper shut off wrench, to turn off household gas and water whistle plastic sheeting map of the area for locating shelters, 